Welcome to the Anamia project. Today we're going to learn how to visualize a corpus of online questionnaires. For our study, several hundred respondents were invited to take an online survey. The survey contained questions about their lifestyles, socioeconomic status and behaviors. Importantly, contained an application allowing them to draw their ego center networks and map their online and offline contacts, friends and family members. Even for a few hundred respondents, this translates into a database of hundreds and thousands of cells. So we thought there must be an easier way to visualize the data from those questionnaires. And this is what we came up with. This dynamic visualization represents our entire corpus. Each one of those grey bars represents a respondent. We actually had two sets of respondents, people from France and people from the UK. By clicking on the EgoFR button, we select the French respondents. Whenever the mouse goes over a respondent, we are provided with information about its unique identifier, number of friends and contacts, and how many of those friends are online, offline, and so on. Now let's click on the Ego UK button and select the respondents from the United Kingdom. Again, if we do mouse over, we are provided with the same information. If we click on both buttons, we can access all the questionnaires and have an overview of the entire corpus. Several other buttons come handy if we want to sort and start analyzing our questionnaires. For example, if we click on the Total Alter button, we sort our respondents by the overall number of their contacts, both online and offline. So now they are ordered anti-clockwise. The first one has the most contacts, the last one has the least contacts. The button Alter F2F means that we are sorting our respondents by the number of their face-to-face -face contacts, which are represented by this green bar. Again, they are ordered anti-clockwise from the person with the most face-to-face -face contacts to the person with the least face-to-face -face contacts. The button Alter CMC sorts the respondents by the number of their computer-mediated contacts represented by this blue bar. And again, they are ordered anti-clockwise from the person with the most online contacts to the person with the least online contacts, in this case, zero. By clicking on the button Alter F2F CMC, we can start seeing an interesting feature of our corpus. The red dots represent contacts that are both online and offline. The bigger the size of those red dots, the more our respondents have contacts they interact with both online and offline. After sorting our respondents according to this criterion, we can start analyzing our corpus looking for correlations between the number of online and offline contacts. What happens if we click on the Number of Ties button? This button displays the level of connectedness among each respondent's contacts. The level is represented by the size of those yellow dots. Other interesting correlations between the number of ties and the connectedness can be explored visually in a very intuitive way if we compare the size of the yellow dots and the size of the red ones. Once we've finished using the visualization, we click on the button Unsort. The respondents are there ordered randomly. If you want to know more about the Anamia project, feel free to visit our website and follow our Twitter account.